this week we're doing an It's Meganium from Pokemon versus Broncherry from Power World. So if you guys want to follow along with our build this week, you can grab your own bucket of Erdo in the links below. Now we chose these two characters from these two games because of the obvious comparison, right? So let's start off with Amy's. I chose to do Meganium from Pokemon because I just think it's really cute and I love that it has its own healing powers. So I started with antennas first because I definitely want them to dry and they can stick up um, later on on its head. So I'm gonna combine the head and the neck as one piece kind of looking like a mushroom shape. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be the head and the neck. And then I'm gonna put little sockets for the eyes so you know where those go. And then I will poke two little holes. That's where the antennas are gonna go. He's gonna be super cute with his smile. And then he has like that little curve underneath. I feel like that's what makes him his little, his little yeah, smile. Yeah, he's got a certain look to him. Yeah, oh, those sat really nicely in the hole. Good job. All right, now on to Brawn Cherry. So for this one, I'm starting with a similar green that Amy was using for Meganium. Um, they are pretty similar in their, in their color style. Um, I just use little blobs for the legs. Um, it looks kind of chunky right now, but Erdo will puff out over time as it dries, so. I'm just kind of getting the basic shape down. And these are some little pads for the feet. It helps give it a little bit of stability. And then I need something to put his little hooves into. So these little pads will give me a base for that part. Um, so once you stick them all on there, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But there's the base. Cool. That looks nice and sturdy. Now I've got to get some white for those little hoops. So, we just stick on little wedges. There we go. Back to oh, And back to my meganium. And I'm just gonna do um, the eyes now. I'm gonna roll out the whites of it. And then I'm gonna add the yellow. This one I'm doing a little differently because the shape is different and I want to cut off the edge of it. So it's just easier to shape it. Oh, that's looking cute. I'm happy with that. All right, what's next? Um, this is the black pupil part. Okay. So the eyes are a little more detailed. And then, of course, I'm going to have add the little highlight. Oh, nice. So we can see and heal better. <laughs> I've got to admit I don't know a lot about Pokemon. I just like the characters that... I've seen from time to time. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when it comes to Pal World, you know, it's like they have a similar style to them. So I can't say I know all the characters, but I do love Bron Cherry. I think he's really cute. And I think he has a better hairstyle compared to. Um, we'll see but... about that when Lion's done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right now I'm working on the tail. Uh, I just kind of had it as one piece because um, his tail kind of merges into the little cover that sits over his back section. Um, so, and of course his tail has these big spikes on them, which I don't know what he does with them. You guys will have to tell me in the comments um, if those are used in combat or something, but he's got these big giant thick spikes on his tail. So we had to do those. Looks like they could hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're peaceful. <laughs> I heard he's good for farming, so I don't know if it's for planting seeds or if it's for battle. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have to see. Well, let's continue Meganium's body. And I just pinched out little holes so that his cute little feet can be um, kind of stuck in there more easily so they don't like stick out too much. So I'm making four little balls and then I'm gonna shape them into almost like little cones at the bottom. And then these are the little sockets for his toenails. So it just got little white balls, and extra spiky. And then I'm just cut, cutting off the top so it can easily fit in there. That's a good way to check your proportions because you can just get it the exact right size you want and just snip it off, right? Yeah, and I feel like my technique's a little better than yours, so. <laughs> oh, is that is that the case? Okay. You guys can choose how you make the feet. Actually, yeah, you guys should vote in the comments which ones. 
Well, first of all, do you like Meganium or Bron Cherry better? And then which build do you like better? There's two two things to vote. That's a good question. <laughs> so right now, um, back on Bron Cherry, I'm working on his little petals that go around his neck, as you can see. They're kind of like little pizza slices <laughs> right now. Um, but I'm going to add more detail to them. So uh, I'm rolling out some white here because... Um, if you roll out the air dough into thin little strips, you can kind of smash it down onto the edge. And as long as you press it in, it'll stick really well. Um, and as usual, you know, air dough dries um, by just letting it sit out. So when you're working with smaller pieces, make sure not to let them sit out too long or else they might get too dry. You can always use water to kind of soften it back up a little bit if you need to. But there's all of his petals. I'm just gonna shape them on there once you've got them all formed. And there we go. Well, that is officially the base body section. Hey, back to Meganium's. This is his little tail. So I just made a cone and then I'm gonna chop off the extra. And of course, a little bit of water to stick it on there. And then I wanna smooth out the edges. So it's like a seamless connection. It's a little trick there if you wanna just add a piece. Yeah. You can always use water for smoothing too. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. Ooh, this is my favorite part, his cool little flower. And I know it's supposed to have like healing abilities of some sorts. And I like that he adds like tranquility to the other Pokemons. He seems very peaceful. Yeah. So I made um, little cuts. And then I'm just gonna like pinch out the edges of this like really nice detailed flower. And then I'm gonna use that this tool to push in the edges. All right, and back on Bron Cherry, looks like it's time for the neck and the head. So um, I'm just kind of getting the proportions here, but once I have the general shape, um, I need to continue that green covering that goes all the way down his backside. So that goes up the back of his neck and over the top of his head too. So once I have the right thickness, I just gotta lay it down and just kind of smash it into the form of the rest of his neck and head, just like that. And I didn't quite go far enough down, so I had to make a little extra piece. <laughs> um, but like Amy was saying, you can kind of smooth it together. Um, as long as you, you know, are patient and kind of press it down and use a little bit of water. And there we go. Back to Meganium. And we're gonna add the little details of the petals. So I'm making six little brown balls and then I'm gonna squish them into like, kind of like a petal cone shape and adding a little details on the edges. And then I squished it out to flatten it I see what you're doing. That looks great. Make sure you have six, because then it'll keep it even. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. And then you got to have the little yellow parts. I wanted it to be really thin, so I can, like, cut out the details a lot easier. And then the scissors gives it, like, a really nice clean cut. Oh, yeah. It's super sharp looking. It's almost ready to go use his healing abilities. <laughs> I wonder if he uses the actual flower to do that. Yeah, I don't really know. You guys let us know how he actually uses the flower. Yeah, you guys will have to educate us on exactly how this works. Yeah, a little bit of water. Okay, and back on Bron Cherry. Uh, I've got to make some little details here and there. Um, those little curly accents that go along his neck. This is kind of difficult. Um, to be honest, but as usual, if you smash out pieces really thin and then cut them out, it makes it a lot easier than trying to form it with your hands. So um, right now I'm working on the eyes and we always like to create indentations, you know, to help sink the eyes in a little bit. And then I've got to create the color and the highlights and all of that. So it just makes it easy to use that little plastic um, mold that we have to kind of place the little thin items on. And of course the hairstyle. Now this is what I was talking about. Um, All right, the hair is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't deny the hair on Bron Cherry is superior. <laughs> I mean, come on. 
Yeah, it's already looking pretty cool. I mean, mine might be a little cuter, but you know, we'll see. We'll let you guys judge. Yeah, you guys have to decide. This is the final detail on Ron Cherry. It's the eyebrows, so let's stick them on there. And this is my finishing touch. I'm gonna use a little wire just to help it hold into the flower like that. And oh, he's looking pretty good. There you have it. All right, and that is Meganium and Bron Cherry. And you guys are gonna have to decide who the winner is. We can't declare the winner here. You have to tell us in the comments. If you guys have any ideas for anything you'd like to see us build in the future, just give us your ideas in the comments. And thanks for watching this week. See you next time. See ya.